Sergio. We're from Deftones. So your latest album has met critical acclaim and has sold very well worldwide. How do you feel when you see everyone's reactions, see people, you know, saying it's album of the year? I mean, it's nice, obviously, especially, you know, you put a lot of work into something and we really enjoy it. I mean, you know, it starts with us, you know, like being happy about stuff and being excited and then being, you know, like, it's like to share that, get it out there. And then when people respond in a way that's positive, it just, it feels good, you know? And especially, like, for, like, um, when they, when they key in on things that, that we were excited about, about the record and things like that, then I think that's an extra, you know, bit of niceness. I agree. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like accolades? I mean, especially on something we're really proud of and, yeah. and enjoy um, sharing with people. It feels good to people to give us some sort of nice feedback. So the album is an epic. It goes from metal mayhem moments to bits of joyful bliss. <laughs> Um, how was it to bring all those different elements together on one album? It's, it, it's organic, yeah. honestly. I mean, I think that things like that are like, I think there are people who do approach things in a more like systematic way or, you know, but like the way that we do things is we, we our, our influences are very diverse and, and that's for everybody. And everyone is, is A, like has a lot of ideas and B is like quick to, jump on other people's ideas and really flesh them out. And um, so that thing kind of happens, you know, like sometimes you're playing something pretty, sometimes someone's playing something heavy, any something in between, and and it just kind of bubbles up. And really what lives are the <coughs> things that keeps us excited, yeah. Yeah, and also I think depending on what moods we were in that day, that particular day, yeah. and what, we, uh, what came out of us, and mm -hmm. usually it's a whole bunch of different stuff, so yeah. it lends to make a pretty diverse record. Even especially with this record, we had a lot of things that didn't even survive, like a lot of, you know, little bits that were two parts and three parts, a lot of things. We had a lot of ideas this time. So, the latest single is Swerve City. It's one of the heavier tracks from the album, and you've released a lyric video and a music video for it. How do you guys decide what's going to be a single and who sits there and, like, do you work as a band deciding what you want the videos to be like? It's kind of all of the above. I mean, it's like, you know, like, there are people as far as as far as the videos are concerned, yeah, you know, we'll bounce things <coughs> off each other, or if we have ideas, or someone will come up with something, and then, and then, however that, and once at a certain point, it'll go over to a director who will who will add their two cents in, and hopefully, you know, like everyone vibes on something, and um, that's pretty much it. And as far as like what how a single is chosen, it's kind of similar. Like we have the things that we're excited about, and then. Also, you know, the people at the label, the people at our management and things like that, they all have, they're excited as well, they have opinions. Mm -hmm. and you want them to be excited, so yeah. you want to find something that we're all excited yeah. about, so it's exactly. our best foot forward. You know, yeah, so then especially like when you really enjoy your whole album, then you don't really, it's like, oh, it's, all, it's almost all good. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So going back to the band sound, the band's always been different. You've incorporated so many different genres, different styles in your music. How would you describe the sound from your own perspective? How would you describe this? Yeah, really, you know, that it is kind of funny to, you know, like sometimes I'll meet somebody, you hang out, you talk, and talking, you know, talk about your band or whatever, and then try to describe it and try to like encapsulate it into a, you know, but it doesn't really work that way. You, know, you can say that it's based, you know, coming from like a metal, like heavy background, sure. and and that we just have a lot of influences that we're not afraid to just like let seep through us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the thing has to be, you know, like the one thing is that like we always want a certain level of intensity to the music, so I guess, you know. I don't know. <laughs> so, question for you, Frank. Sure. Um, you've had a cru crucial role in the band playing keys and samples from a good part of its career. You create layers and make tracks more diverse. How is your influence put into the albums, the different songs? Because you don't impede on the songs, you don't, like there's many other DJs back like in the late 90s, early 2000s, when everyone had their own DJ in the band. You've added your own little touches by not and but not overriding the songs. Your question is the question. Sorry, the question is where do you find your place in the band? Where do I find my place? Yeah, like uh, where do you come I in? in honestly, you know, I think that's for all of us. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like it's not just cut and dry. I mean, not at all. And there is there definitely isn't like a. a an order to it. It doesn't go, start with drums, start with this. It's like, you don't know where it's coming from and where it is. So yeah. sometimes what I like about hearing people um, break down the songs and stuff is that 
um, you know, they what they think might have been that jumping the start off point not is not necessarily where they think it's coming from. Right. Who they think it's coming from, it could be totally really wrong. You know, like the first component that really it bore from, it's like, it, there's no telling. But it's a, um, usually people try to filter it through a traditional kind of like modality where it's like, oh, obviously this guy's doing this, and all you guys are talking about the tunings and such. And it's like, it doesn't really work like that. We have, you know, we just have a good time. Yeah. And I think our roles are not, they're not just set in stone either. They're really not. No, it's true. It's, it's like we all jump on whatever we want to and. And as long as we're, we're um, making something that we all enjoy, you know what I mean? And yeah. For me and my world, I'm a little open to do a little bit of everything, just only because my progression from what I was strictly using early on, only because I didn't have or play instruments to now where, you know, and technology allowing me to do a whole bunch of other stuff. So it just makes for really cool stuff, especially for our type of band where we're not afraid to take chances and do different dynamics. And I'm able to just play it you know, all that. You know, so it works out. All right. So having seven, having released seven albums, many of those have become definitive albums of their time, such as like White Pony. How do you find it having your music so reviewed by everyone? Another accolade question. I don't know if it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a simple one. You don't ever hate on that. You know, like Thank I'm God. tired of being enjoyed. This is seven albums. I want to be hated already. Yeah. I need some hate. My T Pain. No, does it? <laughs> it's nice. You guys keep down there, okay? All right, we'll just start. We're going to continue this via WeChat. Yeah. <laughs> so Australia has always been a constant destination for the band. What brings you back every time? Oh man, we'd like to go everywhere, and this is a beautiful country, and we've always enjoyed coming here. But we'd like to go places we've been and places we haven't yet. So I think that's if any goal when we're on tour is try and get to as many places as we haven't been. But we always love coming back here. There's something you know we did the big day out and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Fond love from here. Australia. And you've brought along Let Live on his tour, and you've toured with them before. They're one of the most exciting bands coming around. What are your thoughts around the band? Um, I think they're cool, yeah. They're cool, and like, I mean, speaking for myself, really an important thing is the is the social factor and people's personalities and things like that. And just like hanging out with them, we're like we're, you're together and you you have a lot of stimuli together. You kind of like out there interfacing with the world as like an organism, and they're chill and they're really nice to kick with and they're nice and, and like and they're young and they're spastic yeah. and they're making cool yeah they're having a good time yeah the music's cool and all that stuff and then like. And for me, it's just like, I always grew up, you know, listening to bands with my friends, and that always really, like, I, I'm definitely biased. So when I like a band, it really changes things, <laughs> you know, like, and they're fucking, they're rad cats. Yeah, they're nice guys. All right, thank you very much. Awesome.